Hey guys, it's Michelle. So today I am drawing my favorite instrument, which is the instrument I play, the trumpet. Um, right now I'm just drawing the uh, hat. My friend always hates it when I call it a hat. The shakio. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Why am I talking about this? Because that's what I'm drawing right now. So obviously you don't have to draw the person to shakio. And now I'm drawing the plume, which I drew way too big, but then I just never got back to like fixing it. <laughs> so now I'm just drawing the eyes and I'm making this one a girl because I'm a girl and I play the trumpet and it's relevant. I swear it's relevant. So now is the important part. Um, now I'm drawing the horn and I found the trumpet easier than a lot of instruments to draw but it was actually really challenging because brass instruments have like all these like tubes and slides and it's crazy and um, it's really hard to draw that. Um, but I was really just worried at that time about drawing like the mouth because when people play trumpet their mouth goes flat and I was so confused so um, uh, now I'm just drawing the I need to come up with some actual words here but the other part of the trumpet um, and I drew it way too big I recommend you definitely make it small smaller yes smaller because um, then it won't look more like a baritone or some kind of weird giant trumpet. So now I'm just drawing the buttons and I decided I wanted one of the buttons to be going down so it looked like um, the person was actually performing. Um, so I decided to make the lips look like this person was actually performing. I, here wait, wait for it. I made the lip like look like it was bulging out even though that's not good. That's not supposed to happen in band. I just thought it'd help it look like the person was trying to play. Um, so now I'm drawing the arms, and as you can see, I was like challenged during this part. Um, and now I'm just drawing the hand connected, and as you, can, as you can see, the trumpet bottom is way too far apart from the top of the trumpet. But it worked out. Like it, you can still look at it and like say, yeah, I think that's a trumpet or some kind of weird giant trumpet, but it's a trumpet. So I'm going ahead and drawing the arms, and I was just trying to draw them as like one line as possible. Um, if you can see that, because the whole thing is just really confusing to look at and I really want it to be easier so I didn't make like weird lines. So now I'm just drawing the hardest part of this entire thing. No, this wasn't the hardest part, but drawing the finger. Oh, maybe it was the hardest part. I'm trying to make the finger. Oh my god, this is stressful for me to watch. That's the ugliest thing, but I didn't know how else to draw it, so I just kind of left it. <laughs> so now I'm going ahead and I'm drawing the outfit. Um, this is our marching band uniform. I just really like drawing our marching band uniform. So if you're trying to draw your marching band uniform, obviously you can take some notes here, but unfortunately we're probably not in the same marching band unless you're my friend watching this. <laughs> my friends, uh, any of you guys? Now I'm just drawing the spit valves because I was like, it's not a trumpet without a spit valve. Um, and just going ahead and drawing the marching band uniform. And then I forgot to draw hair, so I went back and drew, and drew her, her hair. I decided I wanted to be curly. Uh, so that's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much my entire beautiful artwork, and I'm obviously not a super, super good artist, but I did try, so don't, like, copy off me exactly. I think if you want to draw this, then you should definitely put some of your, um, artistic ability into it as well as mine if you're trying, if the you're, like, trying to learn how to draw a trumpet. So I hope this video helped you out, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.